Back Alley, Dr. Glenn. Chapter 2. The Request. Is there a doctor by the name of Glenn here? The nurse asked with a smooth, dignified tone as she stood there in the entryway of the clinic. She had a youthful beauty to her. Glenn guessed that she must have been in her early 20s. Yeah, that'd be me. Glenn motioned for her to come in. She bowed, fo folded her umbrella, and closed the door behind her. The umbrella clearly hadn't served her well in the windy downpour outside. Raindrops trickled from her bangs, running down her cheeks onto the fabric of her uniform, the front of which was completely sodden. Glenn carelessly threw the mirror case in a corner, grabbed a clean white towel from a nearby shelf, and shelf, and tossed it to the nurse. She thanked him and quickly dried her wet hair. As Glenn watched her, he, not he noticed that her movements had a certain charm to them. Getting a better look at her face, he found himself utterly captivated for a moment. So much so that he nearly blurted out something along the lines of, Haven't we met before? He stopped himself in time, however, not wanting to utter such a painfully cliched pickup line. He cleared his throat in order to regain his composure and then offered her a seat. So, what do you want from me? He asked. My name is Sherry. I work as a nurse in a Marriott General Hospital. You have no idea how much, like, how much I have to force myself to start a sentence doing this. <laughs> a boy with an incurable disease was hospitalized just today. I request that you operate on him. So this is a blackjack. <laughs> yeah. Silence filled the clinic. Surprised by the lack of a response, Sherry tilted her head inquisitively. A moment later, a res the response came. It started as a stifled chuckle, but quickly exploded into great, booming laughter. Glenn knew about Amaria. It was one of the biggest hospitals in the Principality, personally backed by the head of state, the Prince. It was a facility said to have brought together the best doctors from far and wide, and one that sported the latest medical technology and the most cutting-edge techniques. It was also a hospital that was protective of its image. Patients deemed incurable were outsourced so as not to not reflect poorly on the hospital's track record. For a back-alley doctor like Glenn, whose business relied heavily on confidentiality, this wasn't an unusual request. The, hot, the thought of the high and mighty hospital administrators having to resort to asking a displaced doctor like himself for help was always a great source of amusement to him, however. Well, did this distinguished gentleman in that ivory tower of a hospital mention how much is in it for me? Glenn's jovial mood, mood subsided, and he quickly switched to a business-like demeanor. If he was going to be doing their dirty work, he planned to make sure the compensation was thorough. Sherry sternly start started. Sherry sternly stared back before responding, her voice firm with de determination. There appears to be a misunderstanding. I'm not making I, I'm not making this request on behalf of the hospital. This is my own personal request. Wait, what? <laughs> Glenn was taken off guard, off his guard by the sudden admission. Averting her eyes, Sherry continued. The boy my patient suffers from crystallization. Crystallization. Glenn's eyes widened at the name. He knew it well, somehow. <laughs> Further, he now understood exactly why she had come to him. The disease had great significance to Glenn, as it was not an exaggeration to say it was the sole reason he became a back alley doctor in the first place. Take me to the patient. I'll decide what to do after a medical examination, he said, without hesitation. Sherry nodded in agreement. I guess we'll we'll find out about the crystallization next time. That's one of the ones that didn't have a uh, panacea for it in the other games, wasn't it? I, I don't even recall it being a status effect. <laughs> it was a, I think, three turns and then you die if you don't mm. end the battle. Don't remember that. Okay. Hi. We're back. Hello. In, in uh, the place that's best for reading. This does have great jazz. Quiet people playing pool and grumbling to each other. It's great. So, so yeah, we're, uh, we, we've got another, uh, 
another set of cross bellions to check out again today. Pro that's probably going to be the whole thing. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, just a, a quick heads up before we begin. So between videos, uh, we made uh, we've made some connections between, uh, let's say, uh, a, a certain set of characters in Cross Bell City and a certain other character and uh, her events from a different game. So, uh, if... Uh, wow. <laughs> All right. If you're not familiar with this pink thing, uh, you're gonna be soon. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. It's going to happen. Uh, we'll deal with it. What do you think about this, Wazzy? I've got no idea who that is. Oh, he will. I'm sure. I'm, oh, I, I'm, I'm actually not sure. It's, it seems too early for us to be dragging him into every single one of our plots. Oh. I just think if she shows up, it's going to be national fucking news. <laughs> huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, the wolf is really seemed more purple and white than white, but, you know. Was it purple or was it like blue green? I don't even remember. I don't have the footage to check, so. I do, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go with glowing. Let's say it was glowing. Ethereal. Ooh, ethereal is a great word for that. I didn't think you could tell stories like that unless you were 50 years old. What did that mean, Ellie? <laughs> Well, too bad there's not a church to ask. Yeah, is there actually not a church in this town? Not, not one that we found. Huh. I hadn't realized that until now. Okay. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, send him <laughs> home to his sister. Eh. Damn. You'll make a great NPC cannon fodder. CQC. Huh. Yeah, I bet. I bet he's very skilled in the hand to hand combat. Woman? Come on, guys. You can't make it that easy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, so that was that was just like a, a general stutter and not like a woman talked to me. OK, yeah. In the meantime, I can go to his place and pretend to be him. Ha! I, I wasn't worrying about the hospital bills. I, I definitely have some questions about the structure and founding of the Testaments after this discussion we've just had. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's, this is going to be the entire game. We'll be hearing about this. At least until Chapter 3. That's whenever you do any kind of change like this. It's always chapter three. That sounds about right. What's going on over here, punks? I am, yes. Oh, he is. Why did you say that to me? I, I guess he's trying to recruit us subtly. I don't think so. That's a rule. Sup! Oh, 
follow. <laughs> That's probably the US from before. That would make some sense. Ah, uh, what's up? Got something inappropriate to say? I think this, this... Yeah, okay. Okay, well, that's not... That's almost exactly the same thing he said before. So, slightly less vulgar. But t t same gist. Yeah. Hey, we're jackasses from the government. Eh, only technically. We're we definitely, definitely not, not suits. suits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> There's one of these guys in Soul Hackers 2, and he's just reemerged at the end game, and it's like, oh, you didn't have to. Oh, I thought he meant the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw doctors. Think they know what they could tell me like I got a brain tumor just because I took so many hits. I was probably not going to cause a tumor. My, I also don't think some Walt... other That caused some other problems, but... I also don't think Walt is a doctor. I, I did hear. D gonna talk about her huge rack? No. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna talk about her, her small rack. Maybe he should have gone for the rack instead. Damn. Wow. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. They're very cool here. <sighs> okay. If we get to make a choice about one of these guys getting wiped off the map, I know who I'm picking. I'm going to guess we're probably not going to get that choice. Now, if we were in a game where you, uh, you recruit all of the all of them and uh, it also technically has permadeath, well, you know, something some stuff might happen. Oh, you're saying this isn't a game where choices matter, according to Steam Tax? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Vaughn, if you end this with Wahoo, oh my god. Oh my god. He's a loser. What do you think about this? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck do we come downtown? Uh, wow. Wow! That's true. Okay, it's uh, it's oversharing time in downtown is what it is. I just please don't be a hat trick. Please don't be a hat trick. Oh no, child. no, this 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 is the the cleaning child, the one the one who just sweeps all day and goes, ha ha, it's so dirty here, ha ha, and and goes uh trash diving, dumpster diving. Yeah, he, he seems um, less alarming. I <laughs> split those children up so far. Yeah, wow. Holy crap. Can't really measure that. Uh, three arch. You quit your job and didn't take the apprentice. That's your fault, man. Okay. All right. We're, run we're running out of people with uh, multiple things to say. Okay, so... There's some upgrades. Randy's is not actually that much. I guess his base strength must be huge. 
or no, wait, that's Tio. Never mind. That's that's huh. Tio's staff. I, yeah. I mistook it for for the because they there look exactly go. the same. Okay, that makes more sense. So let's see. We're at 28, 34, 40, 52. Twenty-six, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-seven. Good lord! So it almost doubles some of these. Yeah, and that's after the upgrade. Yeah. Wow. I'm thinking Randy and Ellie, and mm -hmm. just leave Lloyd as just sort of the medium. Okay. Oh, it's a practice weapon. Well, that is cute that it actually has a spot for that. Also, does that mean her practice weapon can actually fire live bullets? Yeah. You know, practice. Huh. Now I'm curious what the range and accuracy is on the other one. Hold on. Yeah, that's more range and accuracy. Damn. That seems like a bad practice weapon if it's not accurate. What? No, I, I just meant the one that I unequipped. Oh, was, God, uh, got it. Range plus four, accuracy plus five. So these are some dang upgrades. Well, I just noticed his is accuracy minus 20. Yeah, I mean, this shit happens. Ha! I'm going to guess it's not going to make the accuracy worse. It, I'm, I'm going to guess wrong, apparently. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Randy is somehow going to install a flask on that thing. Well, I'm doing it anyway. I didn't say not to. I just found it funny. I didn't I didn't say you said not to. Oh, okay. Okay. I was like, is it negative one now? No, it's just, it's it's a separate thing. Yeah, accuracy has substat, sort of like how agility has evade. Yeah, they just didn't actually say that in this one <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, that would probably make no sense if we weren't already very familiar with this system's mechanics. Eh, probably. Ah. <laughs> Randy this big smile what you got Jingo uh-huh uh-huh all right Ooh. Nothing else. Okay. Yeah, nope. I think this is all the same as before. Yeah, looks like. Well, we already have four of those, so we're probably fine. I don't think we're at the point of HP where we need a lot yet, yeah. I keep expecting this child to just draw a gun on us when we try and go back there at some point. It could happen. She could just do it anyway. It's true. That that does feel like the kind of shit. Did I ever tell you about the time I worked at a liquor store and we just found a machete under the counter? It's not usually what you're supposed to put there. Uh, it didn't belong to any of us, too, which was fun. Oh, that's that's more mysterious. <laughs> Yeah. Is it like a former employee forgot their machete? Because you, you'd, uh, you'd think it would come up. That's our guess, yeah. We just we just had an inspection from uh, <laughs> Port, and they came in, and they're just checking, okay, got to make sure the, uh, the alarms work, everything's hooked up right. And, and the guy just 
goes, what's this? And suddenly something falls down. It's just a machete and a sheath that somebody had shoved up under the counter. I guess it's better than a loaded shotgun. But I just remember all of us getting very quiet. And then he's mm-hmm. like, I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that <laughs> and not get my fingerprints on this. Everyone's just like, are we going to get arrested today? Uh, I think we wrapped it up in a bag because none of us wanted our prints on it either. And I don't know what happened after that. Fantastic. Also, Nikolai's been doing his running here. Oh, no. Oh, well. Oh, are you one of the dancers? That would explain a lot. And who's this? Well, there we go. Are you on the dance troupe? I I thought the dance troupe was only ladies with exposed boobs. (laughs) Nope. Nope. Can't make that joke in good conscience. Good. (laughs) I, I don't know. Sure, go for it. Excuse me. I've been there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, got it. Okay. Come, okay. <laughs> if he has a second thing to say, it's lost to time. Until he runs out of the bank. Uh, is, is he maybe, maybe taking a shortcut through the geofront? I feel like that would be the way to go if you oh were a delivery God. person. Go. Leave. Okay. He does. He does actually go back and forth. What? Uh uh huh. What? Why? Why do they need to rest? Ozel, you seem like you have a chip on your shoulder. Do they? Do they proof after a while? I don't know how to make noodles. That's not the kind of thing I'm interested enough in to look up during a video. Sorry. I'm not I, I don't want you to look up how how to make noodles while we're doing one of our videos. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying it. I'm not personally interested enough to look that up. It's a it's an eternal struggle to be that guy. I, I, I bet. Do they have balloons we can take? We have been hearing a lot of things about how fun Michelin is. I'd love to go there. I see that. I hope it's your daughter. I'm taking this child I found to Michelin. That also wouldn't be the weirdest thing that happens in this series. Oh my god, Lloyd and Tia were definitely going to just go completely nuts in Michelin at some point. Oh, I think Tia's just going to be completely miserable the entire time, but also wear like a little, uh, an extra kitty ear headband. Hmm. Randy's going to be, oh, of course Ellie's also been, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yes, yes, of course. Of course she got the guided tour. She got to go on the days <laughs> when they're closed and uh, but, but uh, only open for special customers. I'm just sitting here thinking about Mishy adults and it's the most sad thing I can think of to contextualize this world. They did that in Persona 5 and it was weird. It was uh, the, the Disneyland... Uh, XP was, oh god, oh. ghost boat. <laughs> the Disneyland XP was uh, bought out for the day by uh, one of the main characters' father's company, 
and then but that then that that didn't work out and so the party just went and ha just had the entire theme park to themselves oh. and like nobody questioned it it was strange that does seem odd and then somebody <laughs> got murdered in the middle of it of course that was a weird scene Security guard bills, are you an android that works for the IBC? Maybe. They might all be. We got scientists hanging out here all day. That's true. Oh, it's it is so safe, nobody's gonna steal a thing, huh? Not once. We're not gonna <laughs> get locked down in this building as a dungeon at all. Oh, you mean like uh behind this door, which is an elevator to somewhere? Oh, the mm -hmm. greatest criminal in the world, you say? Oh, boy. You can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, they tried saying that in Cold Steel. and Look what happened. <sighs> um, excuse me. Whatever, he's got blue hair. It's, it might just be him. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh hi Tio it's me I can't tell if that was supposed to be a gentle letdown to Lloyd or just a casual insult it's you it's often both <laughs> researcher also is very confused did this guy just disappear for like a couple of panels or did my eyes do something weird? Um, Panels? I, Frames. Good Lord. I think you moved in such a way that he got scrolled off by the camera, but that's it. Because there's that thing where it's like if uh, it's an optical illusion where if you focus on a certain spot and just like you're standing a, a certain like a specific distance away from it like a, something else that's in your periphery just seems to disappear entirely mm -hmm. i think that might have happened somehow with me and trails from zero which is a good sign really this is what happens when we have to focus all of our brain power on reading things because there's no voice acting to cover it for our brains Small deals. Yes. Yes, that's the series. That's not good. Hey, that's what we're investigating. <laughs> yep. I don't think we heard about an intern being attacked yet, did we? Uh, we there was definitely someone that got attacked. This is probably talking about the same thing. Mm-hmm. Are you, are you gonna do that thing that, like in that Looney Tunes cartoon where it's just a tactical assault by old women counting pennies at the desk? In this series, it would be somebody doing the gill toss move from Final Fantasy, <laughs> except it's throwing about 99 pennies into the air and then tossing them all as one. Oh no, it's a Sepeth upturn. That is pretty convenient. It is. Also. I was going to say we're being kind of hard sold on this, but we did walk up to the bank's desk. Yeah. Is there any other JRPG you can think of that actually has a banking system other than Earthbound? Well, you kind of ruined it because I was just going to say Earthbound. <laughs> like that's it. I think that's the only one. There's, I mean, there's probably, there's probably some that we're not even thinking of that we just immediately be like, oh yeah, that one. I guess a couple of dragon quests, given the whole lose half your gold thing, but. Yeah, usually you just carry around a big sack of stuff with you. Mm-hmm.
Does Final Fantasy XIV count? I bet they have banks. You know, you're probably right. They probably have banks. I didn't get far enough into that. Me neither. I keep debating trying it again, but also then I realize, oh no, I'd have to find people to play with. Well, look forward to our next video. It's if no. you were to do that to Refuse. me, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, how illegal is it, receptionist Lanfei? I don't think you have the clearance for that. Please direct me straight to the crimes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Lloyd. <laughs> oh, that's not an inaccurate summary of his character <laughs> so far. <laughs> Please direct me to the news. I'm Joyce. <laughs> hey, Otto. Oh, his, his hand, his or her hands, you say. Hmm. I was going to say his, but then I remembered the series just did, did, a, did a gender thing. <laughs> so it's this is someone's hands. Yeah. Just did a gender thing is a way to play phrase that look i <laughs> it's late <laughs> i'm just very amused that's all it did it did that's what happened okay you aren't wrong <laughs> you know what's great juice yeah okay just, just thinking about juice I'm going to have some of my bean juice right here. Can we? Can we check out 12 books? I don't want to check out 12 books. I, I'm, I'm, already, <laughs> I'm already reaching my uh, my jaw limit on, on, uh, on reading those out. I'm willing to read any of them you don't want to. No. No. Right, that, that wouldn't have changed because that was today. Yeah. I mean, the, you know the church suppressed it all, right? Novus? Like, they're super open about it. This, this is also a plot pre- Whoa. What the? Sorry. It's bright lightning strike. I don't gotcha. Know. It's, okay. not, it's not even storming. That caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, no, I suppose that would do it. I guess that explains why I got the notice that, like, expect wet conditions tomorrow. So, yeah. I was also going to say this is a plot point in One Piece, but that's it. A lot of th that, that, that's almost like saying that's a plot point in The Simpsons at this point. If The Simpsons had a secret history seeded through 32 seasons, that would be pretty buck wild. You don't have to be insulting, Casal. Well, that's, that's where it is. I know, it just makes it sound like we're asking for baby time frolics. Well, I mean, we are, though. We're doing police research. Baby time frolics with the the uh, the white wolf and the sniper. Ha! Has this series had a sniper yet? Oh, right. Never mind. Never mind. Immediately thought. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't pull that word out of nowhere. Yeah, no. Which I, I, I understand why you thought I might have, because that does happen. Oh, I was just thinking Metal Gear Solid. I mean, we haven't had any snipers like that. Yeah. Like any of that. 
I guess the end is kind of close, but not really. Oh no, I met Sniper Wolf. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. when you said the sniper with the white wolf, that's what I thought you meant. Nope. Okay, where is that? Is it in the back alley? Is it behind one of the ropes upstairs? Who, who do we talk to about that? Is, is it is it Pete over at the law office? Like, what is it? Okay, no answers. I don't think she's a very helpful receptionist. I mean, as long as this is, is it ends up happening, like, it's cool. I don't feel like expanding a public. Yeah. What are you talking about, man? There's a time to complain about motives, and this ain't it. How dare they do these things for infrastructure just for popularity? Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, it turns out the guys who have cars aren't worried about it, but it turns out it's great that they made it anyway. Long? <laughs> Are they wolves? Everyone's a wolf this chapter. We might all we might all be descended from wolves. Hmm. Hey friends. Fran sounds like friend. Friends. Hey friends. Yeah. I do. We're pulling for you, buddy. Except you. I love you, though. But you're not cool. Come on. No, Lloyd is definitely not cool. Competent, but not cool. And and yet, and yet it, he is building the foundation of the world's <laughs> greatest uh, person collection, let's call it. Friend collection. Person collection. <laughs> I just didn't want to say harem again. I knew what you were talking around, but person collection is killing me. Well, it's what it is. <laughs> Did anything interesting happen? Well, we collected some people, Fran. <laughs> some real life gotcha. This is where it would be pointed out to us if we weren't <laughs> picking up on these things like I wasn't at one point. Yeah, we, we both totally missed it when she got introduced. Mm-hmm. I think she's also agreeing with the they're brightening my day comment. I guess. I mean, as long as you're doing your job, like, it's fine. It seems like you're doing your job. You're at least spending a lot of time on that gigantic computer. This is the most wholesome sister complex in this series. just went on so long and so hard that I, I, th I think it broke the noise gate. Oh, got it. I didn't hear that, so I had to wonder if my joke just broke you. No, no, okay. no, just the weather. Uh, this is going to be a great one. 
<laughs> it made for great comedic timing, though. <sighs> this entire building was shaking for like 10 seconds. Got it. Got it. OK, well, Discord covered that. OK. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> Here's five bucks and a. Uh. Go buy yourself a coffee, kid. Thanks for putting <laughs> your life in danger. Holy crap! Police pay is bad. Well, that's that's why uh, the Sabbath Exchange is so such a hot commodity. Apparently, <laughs> it's a crime prevention what? week at headquarters. Shouldn't it always be crime prevention week at the police? I mean, yeah, but like more, more so. What, what other theme weeks do the Crossbell Police have? It's like a bring your daughter to work day at a daycare. Been running for 14 years, Lloyd. Okay. Oh, I kind of want to see him. He's he's so nice. He's, he brightens up my day. <laughs> he's the yin to Franz Yang. I want to see him interacting with Fran, actually. I think that would be funny. Yeah. I want to see him interact with anyone who's not us. Just for comparison. Well, he, he did. Uh, he was warming up to. Uh, well, maybe maybe that might not be the right term, but that uh, Randy's former boss. True, is, uh, but that's we Weasley. <laughs> There's a word. There, there's an animal word for it. I would have just gone with cozying. Sure, that works. What? <laughs> Gonna bust his balls about that forever, huh, Officer Mulgrew? I mean, it just happened. It's not... it, it, that could have been busting his balls, or that could have been just un, just completely unknowing. Uh, he he started saying that because she said that. Mm -hmm. And it's just a feedback loop of terror. I just like imagining Janeway as a random beat cop giving this guy hell. I mean, that's a good question for a 14 year old to ask. I will arrest him now. No, Tio. Lloyd, I have a new case for us. Priority number what? Oh, goodness. Uh, Okie doke. This is a triple murder, Detective Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what? That That is the most natural response for a Randy to have to this. I mean, I've... I've had those days where I got get a little perked up by some eye candy, but that usually is, I'm usually not investigating crimes in the process. What? Good God, man! Oh no, I I I have a guess of which certain gorgeous married woman he's talking about, though. Hmm. Oh dear. What could possibly go wrong? 
What could possibly not go wrong? All right, and we're back here. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, we've stayed there for an afternoon. It was okay. Weren't, weren't you just... Weren't you the guy who was, uh, was talking about how the, uh, you, you got a special compensation coffee for losing so much at the casino? He was. Why do you think he's still in rags? That's true. That's true. He's going to win someday. Yes, it's, if it is the only hospital. That is such an ominous statement. <laughs> you'll you'll end up at the hospital someday, Lloyd. What? In our line of duty, we pr what? All right, all right. Let's let's see, let's see this. What's the punchline? Yep. There we go. Okay. Okay. The, 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 honestly, that's kind of mean since I'm pretty sure that's a self-run business. Yeah, there's there's a lot to unpack there, especially given some of our comments about this guy on another recording. Okay. Kyle, I... I worked support for your job at one point, and I was not nearly that proud of it. Good on you for having chutzpah, buddy. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to run into the sightseeing tour. I think we saw one, like, way at the beginning of the game, but that wouldn't... That was... A different day, so probably a different uh, group of clientele. This is probably like probably Estelle and Joshua are not it, because we we already found where th where they're hanging out. Yeah. Wait, I didn't go into the apartments in the, in uh, downtown, did I? No, you didn't. You should. Whoops. <laughs> you say that like you noticed and didn't say anything. Darn you. I, I might have. I might have also known we have to come back there, so. Nah. Who are your business rivals? I, the SSS dormitory? I think we're the only other structure in town that can house that many people. Yeah. With vacancies, anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Portia, I think we have to arrest you at some point in this game. It's gonna be a fun quest. <laughs> how, about, how about juice? Oh no. Ooh. Oh no, the racket begins. Are we about to found Orange Julius by accident? Maybe. All right, to be continued. We've been kicked out once today. We can't repeat this event. <laughs> Hi. I know. You're welcome. Hi. Uh, hi. Tourist. Whoa. I did the roulette? Oh, probably her. Hmm. 
That would explain why he owns a casino. This is a really, this is not convincing me to play roulette, Alinda. No, I think that's the one we're <laughs> going to spend the least amount of time on. How does that work with roulette, Cherry? Um, it's, it's rigged. It's, it's all, they're all rigged. Come on. All right. There, there's a lose button there. Ha! Probably, probably just an array of 37 buttons right down here. 30, 36? 36. Uh, you have zeros. So yeah, you'd need at least 37. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Holy God. I love food. Oh, wait. Hey, <laughs> that's my line. OK. Uh huh. Sick. Who is it? <clears throat> Can we interrupt? You cannot tell Randy that. All it takes is him getting just the wrong kind of drunk and he'll ruin your night. <laughs> or or he, he'll he'll come in just the wrong kind of drunk and uh, un uncover a, uh, a major government conspiracy. I mean, he and then, this, then this place is famous. Drake probably doesn't want that to happen in his establishment. Yeah, but what if what if the conspiracy involves killing him? Somehow. Look, I haven't thought this through. <laughs> All right, let's just, let's just head back real quick. Okay. Hey, Juice Lady, we know someone who's in need of your services. Yeah, we can't, I can't, uh... We don't, we, we don't have, like, a, a keyword system, like a Final Fantasy 2. God, if only this were Ultima. God, if only there were still Ultima. Someone is going to say Shroud of the Avatar and don't. No fast travel. I didn't remember for sure. I didn't think there was fast travel, but it just occurred to me. I thought we did like... get one. We got a little menu. Oh, hey, time. there it is. Yeah. Right, it's another map button. Of course, of course it is. Yeah, you gotta love three. Let's see, what's the, what's the third one? Oh no, this is this is the same one, but I can hit it again and get to this one. Okay. All right, all right. I'll remember that some sometime around October. <laughs> through a door the door opened after we woke it's weird look you already know the lotus heights is cursed don't question it too hard or it'll get vengeful i guess that's fair i i i, I guess i just have to assume it's been doing this the entire time and i just noticed now and i'm never gonna stop noticing old man tance i've i've heard yes and she has enormous boobs thank you Right, old man Tance is the guy who's constantly just cradling a shotgun in his dialogue. <laughs> That's better than what this guy's doing with it. Fair.
Maybe you could use those habits to pick yourself back up. Nah. We could loan you a club. You could go out and get some Sepeth, man. <laughs> We've got a couple extras. Hey, look, an empty apartment. Oh, it has flowers. Nice. Flowers. It's got wine. It's got honey. Gunpowder. <laughs> you mix honey with the gunpowder and you get acid rounds. Checks out. Checks out. You don't, you don't have weekends? These kids here need help. Maybe this town needs an orphanage. Maybe. It's just a daycare, really. It's like it's... An Orbal Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> oh, God! Well, let's, let's not do anything about that. I, 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 I also have a heavy, a, uh, a, 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 there's going to be a quest here, I bet. I sure hope so. If we just have to let that go all game. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, maybe he'll get better. And then it'll, it'll be heartwarming by the end of Azure. Lloyd, Lloyd, I don't know if my dad's breathing. Can you do something? I'm sorry you didn't send the request. No, he's going to be a hidden quest one chapter, duh. It, it, besides, it would be more like, Lloyd, Lloyd, my dad's not breathing. Can you go get the bracers? <laughs> yeah, at this point in the story, that's how it would work. We'd be lucky if they knew our name. Nothing super exciting in there, but we did need to check it out. Mm -hmm. I wonder why we would need to go back there at some point. No idea. Hey, Balloon Man. Yes. I agree. Hi, Gina. Oh, that's nice of you. Gina, the... Gina, come on. The walk isn't that big. You just have to use protagonist fast travel like we do. That's true. Definitely use fast travel. I just more meant how the city abridges itself around us. <laughs> yes, of course, the compression. Real time. Ah, yes, space compression, that famous JRPG thing. I, that's, that's what space arts do. I'm also making a joke because I just finished FF8. Okay. I said, I'm, I'll, 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 I, I'm probably going to get there sometime this year. I'm, uh, I'm, work I'm working my way through them. Okay. I'm currently at, at uh, 7 Remake. <laughs> then I'll play actual 7 once that's done. It's currently my second least favorite FF game on the PlayStation. 8? Yeah. 9, I, I love the aesthetic. I like the characters. I hate the battles. <laughs> They're so slow. Nine is the bottom of that list with a bullet. All right. Yeah, it was a sweet car, wasn't it, Abel? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's good to know. So you're jealous that we were driving around in a budget sedan? It, it's it's the, the least expensive one, but it's still like 1.2 million. That's true. We did get prices on that in one of the other games. And we got a price on the, in this one of 1.5 mil. <laughs> People keep buying all my staffs. I just want to read my girly mags. 
everyone in this town wants to read their girly mags. Actually, you know, this is a weapon shop, so it's probably the horse racing mags. Do they have horse races in Crossbell? Uh, that's, that's why he needs to read the magazine. I feel like if there's a horse track anywhere, it's going to be in that building we can't get into in the back alley. That seems like a small horse track. Well, underground. Ah, uh, yes, that's what that's where horses love to go underground. <laughs> Look, haven't you played Yakuza? <laughs> you can fit a lot of things underground. Uh, chock full of smuggled merchandise, you say? Sick. No oh, car. Uh, so what's a store Ginton? How are you doing? Expensive. That's how they're doing. I will buy ten of everything. <laughs> God damn it, I did it again. God damn it. It's kind of amazing how you have an innate gift for that. He, sh he should be hard selling her, not the other way around. What the hell? What's wrong, Fernand? Look, Fernand only studied up on the car. I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird stereotype. <laughs> That's what I thought of well, everyone in Trails of Cold Steel. Wow, they're so durable. I mean, our non-mages were pretty durable. Okay. So o only Wendy should be allowed to sell. Got it. Apparently so. Okay. This place runs on weird logic, especially if there's commission involved. Did I? You did. You opened a bunch of these at the end of last video. Apparently. I, th I th thought I didn't, but okay. It's it's been a couple of weeks. It's it's been a couple of weeks. Let's say. <laughs> what? None of us are hunky enough or rich enough, Pruna. Well, may Ellie may be rich enough, but she's not hunky enough. Yeah, yeah, we're in the wrong sub-series to have that kind of thing going on. And let's be real, Angelica is too much for anybody here to handle. Probably, yeah. Except Randy. But, you know, there's other problems there. Oh, yes, Baggio and Cerrone. <laughs> My parents are forcing me to visit her. Uh, is it Arios? I bet it's Arios. That does have Sergey. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. I don't know if unforgivable is the right word for that. T Tio is a land of extremes. Ha. I sure hope so, because otherwise it's, oh no, I forgot where I left my wallet.
Have you considered a hostage situation, Manager Neston? We keep thinking that's going to happen in every tall building in this city, though. It's got to happen in one of them. Yeah. There's no doubt. have one of these. I guess it's the afternoon edition. Or I just forgot to check. <laughs> I, sh I the the um nope, nope. Sorry. I'm not actually interested in Southwark. Um these things, the decoration for their rooms is th is there any sign that there's any that are like time limited uh not that i've seen i have notes of when things are missing or missable so you're good for now all right just, just a thought yeah because I'm, I'm not uh, objecting to buying that now but i don't need it <laughs> uh let's see let's just take a quick look see training drills at 10 a.m very intense Mm -hmm. Held regularly. Driving exercises. Deputy Commander Bales. New new armored vehicles are fine tuning, will be deployed next game. <laughs> Comparable to a tank. I've played Command and Conquer. I know how little comparable to a tank means. Down, downtown gangs ceasefire. 24 year old man living on East Street. Hmm. I, would, I, hope, I hope that was an actual uh, line of dialogue that we saw. I think that was the student who's constantly griping. Oh no, wait, East Street. East Street, I don't know. Hmm. Gangs. Oh hey, who's that? Nice. Um, it's a good, good thing you that's a super low res photo. You didn't have to add that last line. Yeah. We finally entered the fifth generation. It has texting. Ark and Seals upcoming performance announced soon. Tickets available next month. Oh no! Do you think we're going to end up seeing a certain super fan show up for that performance? I don't. I don't think so. I don't think he got backported. Okay. I know there are a couple of Cold Steel characters that did get backported, but I don't I, I don't know of any that sh just already showed up in this game. OK. Anyway, the, the inn has good food, which I think I'm pretty sure we ate that food. So that's the one we stole the recipe from the wall. Mm. So I guess that's a subtle hint to us if we hadn't. What else? I always go clockwise around this place, or counterclockwise. Let's go clockwise. Exciting. Oh no, actually running a business is very droll now that I've got everything in order. Terrible. <laughs> Hmm. It is. It's completely impossible. I've, I've been trying to get out of people's way, but it's, it's just not going to happen. Honestly, it's very funny to me. 
It's very distracting, though. <laughs> I'm like trying to read this text box, and so, some uh, orange thing just wanders in off from off screen and just starts rubbing against one of the party. I like how you're basically describing Randy. Uh, well, I, I when, when I'm doing that, I usually go by hair color, so he would be like a red thing rubbing against something. Okay, okay. But he, he does have a very orange jacket, so. Wow. Can you take advantage of that? He doesn't want to because he's uh he's gone good. He's he's, he's gone simple or something. He had a whole speech about it. You could rescue things, you know. Oh really? It sure is. May did they? Were they sabotaged? I don't know. I wonder if there might be a quest about that at some point. There's always a quest about the lights. Oh, really? Unpleasant rumors about the mafia. I thought we had a good one. <laughs> I went to the mafia. I saw a mafioso and I asked, are you up to no good? And he said, he said it was fine. I believed him. Oh, <laughs> I think his exact words were forget about it. I don't know. I don't speak mafia. Uh huh. I would say you're about to be proposed to, except you're already a husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah. We. Are. I'm not. Uh huh. You could. You could ask us, dude. It's not hard to find. Aww. Really, you're not going to start shipping them? Because everybody does that around here. They're inseparable. There's nothing weird about that. I'm just saying that the fangirls in these games are uh, not subtle. Look, just because we know that there's a continent wide boys love revolution happening. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not expect that phrase. All right. I was taking a drink. <laughs> gotcha. I was trying to figure out what that noise was. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Yes. It does seem like the sort of places that yes. Yes, yes, they have they have farms there. God. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I don't know why all these uh, people wandering around put up with us. Uh they're cursed by a uh, jinn and cannot break their spell, so they have to. This is their hell. Fair enough. Cursed by the spiders. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh huh. Suspicious phrasing. I don't love the sound of this. I have never had an inventory adjustment go well. Uh huh. Oh, good. Mm hmm. He's just back here like, finally, I'm going to I'm just going to add the secret ingredient. Salt. 
there were a lot of ways you could have taken the secret ingredient, and I was very worried where that was going to end up. We, did, we didn't actually meet Maria Bell Croy, did we? She just like, got name dropped. Yeah, we've been hearing about her a lot. I don't think we've seen her. Salteo, you look like you do. I don't think you're going to be bagging beauties left and right. Let him dream. Let him dream. Okay. Let me just... Next thing is, okay, go to the exit. So I'm gonna go check in with Sergei. It turns out he's not here. He's buying tea. <laughs> Sergei! Yep. Yeah. Told you. Okay, I think, I think the thing I bought was for Randy's room. I can just sleep in his bed, though. Uh, check the list, because it should be under unique items. It's not a big list yet. It was for Lloyd. Well, that would be why we don't see it. Yeah, the darts were Randy there at the casino. We haven't bought them yet. Yes, I knew I'd... <laughs> No, actually. <laughs> Boop. Can we turn it off? No, it sits there forever. <laughs> hey, that's cute on the screen. Yeah, it looks much better in art form <laughs> than um, your first Gunpla box, your first Gunpla assembly. Oh, it's got like eight whole polygons. <laughs> It looks like it melted. <laughs> a little. A little. <laughs> he tried to install the Orbal conversion kit to make it have LED lights, and it didn't go well. Still wondering what's going on there. Same. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I remember him. Yeah. It's probably less illegal than that other shop. Yep. Yeah, we'd, we'd have a lot of... A lot of question marks about that. All right, not affording anything in this shop. Not anytime soon. It's true, Imelda. It's very true. You you don't have to rub it in, Imelda. Yes, she does. Hi. Cop stuff. We want to beat the hell out of more of you. You're good XP. <laughs> Aw, Eris, sweetie, come on. <laughs> Do you? I've, I've seen two. And one of them's being very depressed right now. Yeah. She's not really in an entertaining mood. How dare they want to get paid? I don't know why I seem like I'm shady. Whoa. 
What? No. No. Does he have black hair? Yep. <laughs> okay. Some wealthy lady. Huh. I don't know if we've seen this character yet. Hmm. Because right up until this part, it sure exactly. sounded like Joshua, but now, I don't know, maybe, maybe Estelle's gone undercover. <laughs> Because hmm. that's the only way somebody would ever call her uh, wealthy looking. And we saw her check in at the uh, at the Bracers Guild. She didn't look wealthy. They, they spent an entire game making fun of her for wearing shorts. But she is a sneaker geek. Maybe she sold a pair of Orville Jordans. Oh, it's way too late for that, Eric. It's way too late. You keep letting a 14 year old in here, Eric. Well, you don't. It's it's fine as long as you don't serve her. Depends on region. That's true. Take it from someone who had to get very acquainted with local laws. I guess that's fair. I don't I don't recall what it is around here. I think. I think if you're 19, you can go in, but you can't drink or something. I don't remember. Yeah, it's been a long time since it really mattered. <laughs> and I was <laughs> I was not a in a uh, a partying situation back then. Mm hmm. OK, bread and coffee. I could do bread and coffee. I just don't like croissants. I wonder if I can drop off my drop off some eggs. It is us guys. I think so. This is the correct move, by the way. So good thinking. What? G giving it to her first? Yes. Yeah, I figured. Congrats, we've caused a succession-like rift in this family via bread. It was going to happen one way or another. See? Plus, there's a non-zero chance Oscar is just not going to notice. He seems a little himbo-esque. A little? I'm being polite. Also, I'm kind of with Oscar. I do like a fresh bread more than I like sustainable bread. <laughs> the, the, the stuff that just does not expire after a month somehow. if we're going to have to do something about that train showing up late today. I don't know. It's coming up more and more. That is usually how it, uh, how these, uh, large, uh, chapter size quests end up going. You hit a, you hit, you hit a few different things and then it all cum culminates in one big, uh, one big, but, uh, at start seemingly unrelated incident. Mm hmm. Keeping what? Uh, Puppy? Ominous. Uh-huh. You know, Pansy, I feel like you're going to go into publishing at some point rather than uh, your father's goal of getting you into engineering. Oh, never mind. It could be a swerve. It's a cat. Ah!
Yep. We heard you stole a cat. Mm-hmm. cat's as good as new i think i'm six <laughs> we fixed it what do we need to find more cats We heard them out. <laughs> and then... Yeah, where do you leave the collar? Yep. The, the collar? buddy yes let's put this in our inventory kitten pocket. <laughs> Everyone's just like, what the hell? <laughs> We've just gained three bonding points with Tio. So children near the residential district. Because my first thought for children are not near the residential district. Nope. Just, let's just get this party started. That's mm -hmm. the wrong map. Okay, I have to be outside in order to pull up that map. Okay. Whatever. Hey, turn around. What? Uh, go talk to the child in the room next door. This child? Yeah. She was going to be on the list. Look, we got to cross off all the kids. Wow. This child is the most judgmental. This is Wendy's sister. Yeah. I did, did not did not catch that until now. Yeah, because she was talking about how dad gave her older sister all the magazines and trains to try and push her onto engineering. I'm sure, but. But. 
Where's it? Where? It was, this was definitely the button that I hit to go to the fast travel. I guess I've got a kitten. Okay. I guess I won't talk to those kids. Hi, did you lose a cat? Oh, I, th I, th I think I know which kid it is, actually. Mm -hmm. it's the, the situation with the destroyed documents. Mmm. Good thinking. I could be a rightful owner. Another dead child. What? <laughs> all right. I don't think there are any children in this building here. It's just all elderly people and one maid. How about you? Do you have a cat? And also, who are you? This is Pete. I know it's Pete. Who is it? Who, who is Pete? What? What's a Pete? Who do you work for? <laughs> Mr. Grimwood. I work for Mr. Grimwood. <laughs> yeah, do you live here? What? <laughs> do you live here? Who? I I don't I don't understand what's going on with this child. Look, I'm sure we will eventually get closure on Pete. I guess. This is not a child. No. Children generally do not drink coffee and eat croissants. Uh, it's, I, I, I bet Milliam would. I don't... There's a lot of things I can say but won't. Okay, there's an orbital car parked here, so I think this is where we find Colin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Bright-eyed local youth. Okay. Bye. Thanks for the ride, buddy. <laughs> uh, the only other one I can think of off the top of my head is Sunita down here, which I already established is my my best guess. Mm -hmm. Trying to think if there was another one in the problem house. I don't think so. There's a teenager who's always doing dishes. Yeah, her. <laughs> and then there's the young adult who is uh, wearing grandpa's suit. Yeah, this place gives off two creepy vibes to have a cat. Only a ghost cat. Soul Cat. I think Soul Cat would be how you describe that place. Alright. Hopefully. Is, is this it? Yes, hello. You look like you're having a, a very important meeting about something. Mm hmm. <laughs> you're under arrest, Sunita. That is a very ominous way to introduce yourself. Especially since we're not really doing cop work at this moment.
Okay, so that's our answer. That 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 was a quest. Uh, Hint, a, yeah, a, 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 a quest prologue. Hey, what do you think about this? Nothing. I see. I'm glad you seem well adjusted, Grail. Okay, so talk to the kids again. Leave. Uh, no, not leave. What is it? It said make another round. I don't know. I don't know what that means. That was all the ch children, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go back to. Never mind. three times. <laughs> Lloyd opens his jacket. What are you buying? <laughs> I got some good stuff on sale today, stranger. <laughs> You're not a stranger. I know your name. Must be her owner, right, you filthy liar? <laughs> you know, lying to the police is a very bad thing. <laughs> Tita conjures up cuffs. Tita? Not Tita. God damn it, Tio. I mean, she would. Yeah. She is stray? screamed that uh he has to hear it somehow huh. so you can come come in from off screen and comfort her well you know what's not gonna improve your mood sunita we're arresting you for perjury to shreds you say I like how this means that Ryu and Henri had to do the kitten collecting quest for us, and we just came in at the end.
We we will. Ellie. <laughs> when was this decided, Ellie? I I I don't want it. I have a gun. <laughs> also, I'm your next door neighbor, technically. It was weird that you ate all my documents, but you know, <laughs> kids these days. What? You aren't mad at Marie, father. You've already named this cat. job. I disagree. I don't want to waste our time again in future. We have an actual case. <laughs> nope. People might die, Lloyd. No, Randy. No. And they're gone. <laughs> They're teaching the cat how not to eat paper. Funya. You, you can't. Te you cannot teach cats tricks. So you need well, you can, but it's not advisable. Nope. It's not. You can't really do it in a way that absolutely guarantees that the cat will. Uh, the cat will do what you want uh, using humane methods, Sunita. Thanks a lot, officer. I love cats that I'm definitely not allergic to. <laughs> <laughs> She'd think she would have asked me, even though I, I, I just wander around saying we don't keep pets here four times a day. Hmm. Yes, how Sunita usually acts. Haha. <laughs> okay, so that's all taken care of. Mm hmm. Now, do you have anything to say about it? Yep. You got a surprise coming, Krill. All right, back at it. Ta-da! We solved a quest. Yay. So uh, let's just finish off this building and call it a day. Seems good. Ah. Uh, we've already taken care of the situation, Koken. I'm sure these lads will be delighted. Reuse Father Koken. Yep. Hmm. Are you going to reward us? We don't have a reward yet. I don't know. Does this count as reporting? Good, you're one of those reuse. <laughs> I only like cool action stuff and guns and stuff. Not kittens. 
I'm just saying I can think of another uh, long deceased series with blue haired Ryu's in it. And they all act this way. <laughs> hmm. Grumble. Thank God we're slowly winning over all the children of Crossbell. Well, it's got to start somewhere. You know, we were working from the ground up. Maybe we need Sentai poses. Maybe that's our next move. I th I th I'm pretty sure they've got that in Kuro, actually. Oh, well. I've, I've seen some transformations. Why are we not playing? Well, OK, the English thing, but it, it's not in English. And also we're five games behind five, five and a half. Bah, we can only be so spoiled. She barely pooped on the floor. <laughs> Wasn't in my house. It was in reuse. <laughs> Grandmother would never, ever allow this. No, you don't want to cross her. I don't. What? Jeez. Eh, wow. That, that tracks. He died <laughs> late. They were only fiancés. Yeah, that's why she doesn't have a husband. She didn't get married, and that means she's still at risk of expiration. It's dark, is what it is. All right. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go report that. Report that back to the CPD, and Fran will be like, "Oh, cute little kitty cat quest, Desu." <laughs> and uh part and then we'll uh we'll be done i want her response to be wait we're supposed to we're supposed to pay you for this Quick, you just found a cat i don't know if we're actually gonna get paid for it <laughs> oh five bucks <laughs> more than I expected. Well, perhaps that will happen next time. So yeah, we got a couple more, a, a, a few more buildings in uh, West Street and then uh, the residential district. We need to actually check in on them and that, that'll be pretty quick. Yep. Uh... And then we'll uh, talk to everyone on Station Street on our way out to Ursula Road. Nothing bad can happen on an Ursula Road. Absolutely not. We're, we can't miss a bus twice. I don't know. We did just do a quest that might make us miss a bus. All right. So, yes, the fast travel was disabled because of Kitten. I suppose that makes some sense. That well, does. We'll see you next time. Bye.